to welcome all of you to the three-year countdown cultural celebration. Damas y caballeros, bienvenidos todos a la celebración de los tres años antes de los Juegos Panamericanos de 2015. Bienvenidos. We have an amazing lineup of singers, dancers, and athletes, ladies and gentlemen, all of whom have joined us here today to celebrate what will be a spectacular Pan American Games in Toronto in 2015, including two of the performers we've just heard from, the Wick Wemekong singers from Manitoulin Island, as well as the Pan Fantasy Steel Band. Weren't they amazing? Thank you. A round of applause for them. 15, for the most incredible sports celebration that the Americas have every four years, the Pan Pan American Games right here, where we are standing in three years. In tres años, damas y caballeros, los Juegos Pan Panamericanos van a visitarnos aquí en Toronto. Ça va être une célébration exceptionnelle du sport, mesdames, messieurs. These games will be a defining moment in Ontario's sport history. We have hit, witnessed professional championships, but never an amateur international competition of this size. We've never hosted an event with the ability to embed a tangible sport legacy in so many of our communities. This is our chance. It's where dreams of glory will be realized and new dreams will begin. It's where new sports infrastructure, diversity and celebration come together. Nous avons avec nous aujourd'hui, mesdames, messieurs, plusieurs invités qui se joignent pour célébrer le compte à rebours de trois ans au Jeux Pan Panaméricain. Je vous les présente. Please welcome our distinguished guests this afternoon. Le ministre d'État pour le sport, the Minister of State for Sport, the Honorable Val Gossard. Le ministre ontarien responsable pour les Jeux Pan Panaméricains, the Ontario Minister responsible for the Pan Parapan American Games, the Honorable Charles Sousa. Le maire de la ville de Toronto, the mayor of the city of Toronto, His Worship Rob Ford. Il est le directeur général des Jeux de 2015, the CEO of the Toronto 2015 Pan Parapan American Games, Ian Troop. And now I'd like to recognize a woman who's represented Canada on the international sports stage for more than 20 years, and she joins me as my co mc for today's event. She's a five-time Olympian in the sport of athletics, 11-time national champion, Olympic silver medalist, Pan American Commonwealth World Cup and World Student Games gold medalist. Please welcome Charmaine Crooks. She also brings a great, rich history of sport as the former CEO of Volleyball Canada. So wonderful to be here with you, Sylvie, and others. Now, we were competitors, and I'm especially pleased to be here and to acknowledge some of the many Ontario athletes who have competed for Canada for many, many years. And in just a few minutes, you'll have a chance to hear their stories and to learn more about these amazing Canadian athletes living right here in Toronto that you'll be meeting. Now, Sylvie, back to you to introduce some of our other special guests, and we'll see you soon. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, bonjour, hola. I'm excited to be here with you all today on behalf of Prime Minister Stephen Harper. It's also great to be joined by Minister Sousa from Government of Ontario, Mayor Rob Ford of Toronto, Ian True from the Toronto, Toronto 2015. Of course, the Canadian athletes as we celebrate the special day. It just Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. In just three short years, some of the top athletes from 41 Pan American countries will come to compete right here in Toronto and GTA. Our Canadian athletes are already training and getting ready for the 2015 Games, and we're all looking forward to cheering them on as they proudly represent our country. The Pan and Pan American Games aren't just about sport, 
They are also about celebration of our culture and art. And Canada is full of talented artists, singers and dancers just like the one you just see here today. Our government is proud to support these games along with our partners, the province of Ontario, the city of Toronto, the Toronto 2015 Organizing Committee and the Canadian Olympic and Paralympic Committees. And as part of our commitment to the games, many of the facilities that will be built or improved for the sports competition will be available for you and other members of the community to use to stay active and healthy and in the future. I encourage you and your families to get involved with the games when we welcome them in 2015. I hope you will have a great time today watching the performance and trying some of the different sports. Happy three years to the games. Once again, it's uh, great to be back on the home territory, GTA welcoming uh, these athletes. And now, uh, I have great uh, pleasure to welcome uh, Honorable Charles Sousa, Ontario's Minister responsible for Pan and Para Pan American Games, to say a few words. Thank you very much. Standing day today. I'm really pleased to be here with members from Toronto 2015, led by their CEO, Ian Troop, and of course right here with Mayor Ford to celebrate a three-year countdown for the Pan Am American Games. Folks, I welcome all of you, but I also want to pay a special welcome to the kids who are here today, the young people. We really appreciate all of what you do. This is about you, after all. This is a great big sporting event that's coming in three years. It's the first ever in Ontario's history more than 80 years. It's going to bring 10,000 athletes and officials to the GTA. And that's a wonderful thing because it's going to boost their economic power tremendously. 15,000 new jobs are being created as a result of these games. And more importantly, we're going to leave a fantastic legacy of sporting venues for future generations. You know, I look at the young people and you think about the dreams that can be had as a result of hosting these games. Just think about the fact that some of these kids may one day want themselves to be an athlete. And if so, they now have an opportunity to train right here at home. Imagine, guys, you want to be playing basketball one day, you want to play baseball or soccer, you want to run, you want to swim, you want to do something outstanding, well now you have a better chance of doing that right here at home. Because as a result of some of the leadership that the province has brought in association with the federal government, we're going to be spending some money that's going to generate outstanding, outstanding opportunities for young people in the future. And I'm really proud of you guys. We want to make certain that going forward, you too can realize your dreams as a result of the Pan Am Games. The people's games, my friends, because this is going to be affordable, accessible, that everyone can enjoy. Yeah, we know that big games can be tremendously complex, but what's really important is that everybody have the opportunity to participate in one way or another. That's why we're looking for 20,000 volunteers to participate. That's why we're looking for more athletes than ever before to be part of this. And I want to also congratulate our athletes, our Canadian athletes who represent us so well, and who are here today as well to promote these games going forward. I thank you for that, folks. So for you young folks, it's your turn. You may want to participate, you may want to compete for medals, or you may just want to compete to have fun. How many of you like to play sports? All right? How many of you like to have some fun? This is what this is all about. Having some fun, being athletic, and raising the bar even that much higher. Because what we're going to do is provide something extraordinary. But in order to do that, and the Premier had this vision many years ago when he sought these games to come to Ontario, and I'm very proud of the fact that we are now going to realize on our dream to succeed for you. But in order to do that, I need your help. Who wants to help me get the ball rolling, guys? Woo! Right here. Toronto 2000 theme beach ball. Here it is, guys. Sports fans, all of them, they're going to be outstanding. Now, ball, just keep the ball rolling. Keep the ball rolling. Keep floating it up in the air. Let others play with it, too. I love it. Now also, not only are our young people sports fans here today, we have a major sports fan who's been part of sports for some many years, and that's the Mayor of Toronto, Rob Ford. Please welcome to the podium the Mayor of Toronto, His Worship, Rob Ford. Thank you. And my colleagues on City Council, 
Councilor McConnell, Councilor Fragadakis, Councilor Lee, Councilor Cole, Councilor Wong Tam, and obviously the Secretariat, Councilor Mark Grimes. Thank you so much. This is a great day as we celebrate the three-year countdown to the 2015 Pan and Parapan American Games. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge a great minister, Paul Golso, Minister of State for Sport from the federal government. Another fantastic minister, the Honorable Charles Souza from the provincial government, Minister of Citizenship and Immigration and Minister responsible for Pan American Games. The CEO of the Pan Am Games, Mr. Ian Troop, and our partners in the games who are present today. As I said at the beginning of my speech, I'd also like to acknowledge Councillor Mark Grimes, the Mayor of Secretariat for the Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games. He has worked tirelessly, non-stop. Thank you so much, Councillor Grimes. But most importantly, as Minister Suze was saying, I'd like to especially welcome the 1,600 summer camp children who have come to join us in celebrating the three-year countdown today. It's great to see so many children here today, and maybe, and maybe one day, you'll be representing Canada in a Pan Am or Para Pan Am game in the future. Today is a special day. We are only three years away for the beginning of the 2015 games. Toronto is proud, very, very proud to host this games and today's event that is just the beginning to the, what we have to display to the rest of the world, our diverse culture, talents and passion for sports that the rest of the world will enjoy. As the host city, the games will leave Toronto with a lasting legacy that residents and businesses will be able to enjoy for years to come. This includes new and improved athletic facilities in Etobicoke, Scarborough, and North York. A vibrant new neighborhood with mixed-use housing on the waterfront, economic opportunities for local businesses, that creates jobs, and most importantly, the pride that comes from hosting a successful international event of this size. I would now like to present the city's proclamation to Mr. Troop on behalf of all the members of council. Pan Am, Para Pan Am Day, July 10th, 2012. Whereas Toronto is the official host city of the 2015 Pan Parapan American Games. The 2015 Pan Parapan American Games will bring more than 10,000 athletes and officials from 41 countries to Ontario. That will involve more than 20,000 volunteers. The games will be held in venues across the greater Toronto area showcasing our region on the international stage and attracting thousands and thousands of visitors to this great city. The 2015 Pan Para Pan American Games will use the power of sport to engage Ontario's diverse communities, inspire children and youth, and transform our neighborhoods through legacy facilities and programs. Pan Am, Para Pan Am Day, will officially begin the countdown to the 2015 Pan American Games, kicking off today, July the 10th, and ignite the excitement and anticipation for the games throughout the city. Now, I, Mayor Rob Ford, on behalf of the Toronto City Council, do hereby proclaim July 10th, 2012, as Pan Am, Para Pan Am Day in the City of Toronto to celebrate the spectacular sporting event coming to our great city 
in three years. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Ford. It's an honor to receive this proclamation. Bonjour tout le monde. Buenvenido a todos. Our three-year countdown gives us a glimpse, gives us a glimpse of what the Pan Para Panda Games are going to have as an impact to our city and our community in July 2015. And it's an exciting day for all of us. For the government of Canada, whose financial contribution allows these wonderful new sports facilities to be built. Thank you for your unwavering support. For the government of Ontario, your guidance and financial commitment to a superb games operations is greatly appreciated. For the official recognition of Ontario and the Mayor, Toronto will be in fact a spectacular host city. Thank you. For our games lead partner CIBC and our premier partner Chevrolet Canada, what tremendous partners we do have. And you, everyone here today, together we are going to make this be the event of a generation. The best pan and para pan American games ever. Just think, in three years we'll be watching and cheering athletes from 41 pan American countries. It's going to be a fantastic athletic event. But more than that, it's going to be an amazing festival here on the streets of Toronto, celebrating the music and culture of Canada, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Toronto 2015 will bring us together to celebrate what we share, celebrate our diversities, and welcome the world. And best of all, we leave a legacy. We're building new sports facilities where elite Canadian athletes can train, and where kids like you can learn to play and love sports. These games are our games. Even though we're looking ahead to 2015, we want to start celebrating with you now. Kids, around the square there are sports to try and great Canadian athletes to meet. Go have some fun. We have an amazing exhibit called Fresh Eyes by Rivals.ca right here at City Hall to my left, celebrating the diversity of our region. And tonight, we unveil Play Me, I'm Yours the piano project with 41 pianos painted by 41 artists representing the 41 participating countries of the Pan Am Games. It will kick off with a special performance at 8 o'clock tonight at David Pico Square. Remember everyone, Toronto 2015 will be the People's Games. It will be intimate. It will be authentic. It will be accessible and affordable for the whole family. It will be the games that are financially responsible. Toronto 2015 will be a celebration that changes us and inspires kids to dream. Maybe the kids right here. And now, I would like to invite the ministers and the mayor to join me in front of the podium to watch the official pan and parapan flags being raised. Come on, guys. Thank you very much, Minister Balgosal, Minister Charles Souza, 
Mayor Ford, and of course, Toronto 2015 CEO, Ian Troop, for taking part in our ceremony today. Now, I'd like to invite the media to stay along with our guests as they will be participating in some of our sport activities. It's very challenging, it looks easy, but it's not. Very challenging. So, to support the athletes, and uh, we're going to put on a show like no one's ever seen before, so anyway, it's exciting. Sir, how are you feeling by the way that the progress is coming? Oh, great. Well, great from when I went down to Mexico last year. They're working hard, so I you know it's very, very uh, from a long way. So. And I'm very proud of what Cal's are going to do. Things are going great. We need tons. We have a lot of work to do. But, uh, they're working hard and uh, they have a great team. Life. Things have changed over the last months uh, in terms of venues being pared down and that kind of thing. Is that Are we going to see a lot more changes like that, do you think? Uh, I don't want to speak to that. Yeah, 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 Eglinton and Long Shepherd, uh, people in uh, Scar would be getting subways. So. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Thank you. They're saying the same thing now. They said to you there's no money. They don't want to vote on the front. Are you guys? Sorry. Habib, Yakub, right over there. Necessary to ensure that the processes are there and that we monitor those expenses very, very carefully. And I can tell you that to this point, uh, we've only spent less than five percent of that budget. The commitments are now there for some of the capital projects, and those projects are occurring at a favorable rate. But beyond the finances, does anyone really care about the Pan Am Games? Aren't you going to be having so many events in half empty, quarter empty uh, stadiums? Nobody really gives a perhaps you know what about. Well, I'm hoping you're wrong because in the end, these venues are going to provide a tremendous degree of support for those communities that are going to get them. We make no apologies for the fact that we are that we are building uh, venues in other parts of the province to enable those communities to benefit from some of the, 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 the projects and the games that are coming to Ontario. So it's not only just Toronto, Mississauga, uh, Hamilton, Milton, Oshawa, around the at Welland, St. Catharines, all of these areas are going to benefit from some new venues. Some of the schools are going to have at U of T and at Scarborough. And these legacy venues are tremendous in the number of ways. One, they're a great economic boost because they're producing tremendous amount of jobs. Secondly, they're providing athletes with an opportunity to train right here at home where they haven't had that opportunity before. And there's going to be a tremendous social benefit. Some of these communities don't have uh, community centers of this consequence, and now they're going to. These are state-of-the-art, worldwide recognized venues that are going to be fully accessible, and they're going to provide tremendous future benefits. So everyone talks about the legacy of the clusters, as well as maintaining those specialty venues, like growing in St. Catharines and velodromes in Milton. So by finding clustering, like Exhibition Park will have 12 sports. We're finding we're getting that efficiency we're looking for for a better spectator and athlete's experience while still being able to have regional participation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Projects, we 
taken the steps necessary to tender the process effectively so that we enable the best price when we do the, the projects. We're also taking appropriate steps to monitor them ongoing, and we have checks and balances in place. Um, and I can tell you that even as the village is an example that, that's outside of the operations of the games, but it's another example of how Infrastructure Ontario has enabled and facilitated a negotiated deal that mitigates the risks at the tail end and brings things out of their budget. Let's see if I can start this out. 